so hey guys welcome back once again and in this video i'm going to talk about how to install protogen model and other models in stable diffusion google collab so first of all you need to download file from this website the link will be already in the description the thing you need to do is go on to this code and just download a zip file as i've already downloaded a zip file so you can see over here just open the zip file right click show more option uh just extract it over here okay so i've already extracted now you can see i've already extracted the file you can see all notebooks are already downloaded over here you can see there are protogen models like protogen v2.2 3.4 available right now on this website so the next thing you need to do is that just open google collab go on to google chrome and let's just open google collab let's open google collab okay now after opening google collab just go on to upload choose file so the next thing you need to do is go on to the directory that you have extracted the file i have extracted on stable diffusion files google collab notebooks on here and let's just select protogen x3.4 and open the file let it open okay now after opening just run this file okay so here we are it took me around 4 minutes almost 5 minutes to load this okay so now you can run it on local url as well as on public url just click let's just click on public url and let's see so here we are it is loaded and now let's check okay so this is the prompt that i'm using and let's check that if it generates or not so it's generating let's see okay so as you can see the image is generated depending upon i think so your internet speed it works i don't know this is the first time i'm using on google collab okay as you can see it is generating it is using uh stable diffusion protogen x 3.4 dot ckpt you can see over here okay so this is how you install let's try to generate more images okay let's see on 10 and let's generate oh my god so this is how you install protogen x 3.4 and other models on google collab stable diffusion okay so that's it for today and yeah this was a short video as one of my viewers just asked to how to load these models on google collab stable diffusion so that's it for today and i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys bye guys